to round up a busy week than with Fashion Fix. Of course, it's right here on Vogue and on time on your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso only on SABC3. It's your one-stop destination for all the best in fashion news trending across the world and right here at home. We curate the news so that you can just sit back and relax and you know, take it all in. And here to take us into the weekend in style with sass, none other than Expresso's fashion editor, Nick Strelitz, everybody. Hey. Oh, you got a boo. She's getting louder and scarier by you the day. You got a boo. And I'm, why is Bob sitting so far away from me? <laughs> Bob hates fashion Bob hates fit. No, he hates Bob. fashion fit. Bob has got no time for you right he's, now. He's about to get a fail for me real quick. <laughs> nice. I'll remember this. Oh, I'll remember my word. this. How cute is he? Don't be mean to Bobby. What? Nick, what's oh, happening? God. <laughs> it's me. Okay, what's listen, girl. With the fashion? What is this? Is yeah. what I, all, is all I have to say, Leanne Williams. What is this? This. Oh, take your best guess. What is this? Leandra. Oh, oh, it looks like mascara. Okay, but well there's done. some kind of a like a. Yes. I don't know. Uh, maybe it, I, I don't know. Thank you, and you don't know what it is. No, Listen, I don't. Listen, Q Grace Beauty, which is a UK-based disability-friendly beauty brand, lead the first oh. of its kind. It's all about inclusive beauty. Grace Beauty for all. Hashtag. It's a product line that's aimed specifically for people with disabilities, which, how has no one thought of this before? That's to amazing. actually make products that people with physical handicaps can actually use. It's their debut range of products, and they're aiming to simplify the process of application for anyone struggling with conventional beauty products. So wow. let's take you through some of the better sort of products that I've seen. The okay. Ring Grip is one, which I okay. love, which features a circular ring-shaped handle to loop your finger through, oh. allowing the, uh, the user to adjust their grip without holding oh, the wow. wand. Oh, that's fantastic. Isn't that amazing? That is really, really wonderful. When you see these I sorts of elements, you actually like, how, again, how has no one thought of this prior? Exactly. Because everyone wants to be beautiful, and some yeah. people just don't have the actual physical capacity you. to reach it. That is fantastic. So, cue the square grip, which okay. is also second in its product line, oh, wow. um, which attaches to both sides of the mascara, yeah. uh, with the ribbed hexagonal sleeves that fit onto both the tube and lid to make yeah. it easy to open, hold, and control. I love this one. I really, really do. How and fun. then the last one? The last one is the safe grip. Yeah. So it features a wide bulbous attachment that gives a wide angled grip and ensures better control for all kinds of users. Oh. So Grace Beauty really doing all the things. They said, quote, the brand said, anyone regardless of ability should be able to use any beauty product yeah. they want to. I love it's that. Well, well done, Grace Beauty. I think yeah. that's absolutely fantastic. And right? I can't believe it's taken us this long to come up with something, yes, but you've done time. it, so that's wonderful. Yes. Uh, I hear that your next piece of news oh, is a little bit on the juicy side. Can you handle it? I can. Okay. Not. Virgil Abloh, who I love, he's the new artistic director for Louis Vuitton, uh -huh. and you know him from Off White, which was his luxury high street label before, right? Yeah. He's become this massive phenom as well, and he's really known for these sneakers, these Air Max 90 Desert Ore kicks, which feature a security tag on it. It's aesthetic, so it sort of looks like it could have been shoplifted, but not. Cue a huge fan of Off White and Virgil Abloh, Mr. Justin Bieber who's been sporting off-white for a while now. Okay. I think we have a clip from Justin and a recent encounter he experienced wearing these new kicks of Virgil Abloh's. Play it! Virgil, my god, bro, you, you freaking, you're killing me, man. I just had a cop come up to me and ask me why I still have this security tag on my shoe. What the... <laughs> I had to tell him, bro, it's just it's just fashion. I don't know. He's like, it sure looks like a security tag. I was like, nah, bro, you can check it out. You can just, it looks like it, though. Okay. But you're getting wow. me in trouble. America must have really low crime levels that the cop, of all the things, just saw the security tag on a right? random shoe. Pull over for that. But can we just talk about how Justin Bieber speaks? I mean, that's a whole other segment. Bruh. <laughs> Bro, I got my shoes, bro, and my my mom, bro. Okay, Justin. Listen, Justin needs some elocution now. lessons. But listen, Life he was very chill. he was pulled over in his five hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini. 
500 dollies later. Um, it's unclear as to why he was stopped in the first place, because the cop only noticed the security tag after he was stopped, but they haven't released a statement as to why he was actually stopped in the first place. Yeah. And this comes after, it was the same day where a, a quote unquote, a drunk woman um, entered his hotel room where he was staying in California, wandered into his room when he was just chilling there, had to call the security, had to detain the woman. Apparently she meant no harm to Mr. Bieber. She was oh, just wow. hammered. Oh, wow. Listen, it's just another day in the life of Justin Bieber. Some people have such tough problems, huh? Tough, right? It's a tough life. It's a tough life. Anyways, thank you so much, Nick Strelitz. You've done the absolute most. And uh, we basically ensure that we kick off your weekend in the most fashionable way with Nick Strelitz, only here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Express. So you can head over to our Express or Facebook page to weigh in on the conversation.